This is Duke University. Geneticists have to be extremely careful uh, not to let uh, descriptions of their work uh, get carried away uh, with enthusiasms about uh, the, uh, uh, the level of genetic determinism uh, involved in different traits. There really is a, a strong pressure to overstate, and, and there was, in fact, we work uh, in HIV as well as hepatitis C, and there was, in fact, an example of this where there was a genetic finding reported uh, that suggested that a genetic difference that is almost completely different between individuals of African and European ancestry, where you have one form that's the common form in much of uh, many parts of Africa and another that's the common form outside of Africa, there was a study that suggested that this particular genetic difference, I had a gene called the Duffy locus, that this uh, particular genetic difference influenced uh, uh, susceptibility to infection uh, uh, with HIV. And the study, in fact, was not a strong study. It did not have good controls. Uh, yet, because it suggested that the form that was common in Africa made people more vulnerable to infection, because it was suggested uh, that that made people more vulnerable. In fact, Bill Clinton picked up on it, and when he visited Africa, he said, well, we now have this genetic explanation for why there's so much HIV in Africa. And that statement was wrong from every single perspective. The initial uh, report uh, um, of that finding, other groups tried to uh, uh, replicate and could not replicate. We do not believe it's true in the first place. And even if it were true, it is certainly not the case that you could infer from that that uh, the um, uh, epidemic of HIV in Africa is in fact due to, due to the underlying genetics as opposed to other things like behavior. So I think there we had a real example where the genetics was dramatically overstated uh, by, uh, by a very influential individual. And I don't fault him for that. Um, uh, I actually fault the scientific community uh, for not being more careful about what it states as, as, as real um, because what the scientific community states has an influence on people's thinking even when it isn't true. And so when this was then corrected, as, as, as science does correct itself over time, uh, I, I, I don't imagine um, Bill Clinton has yet said, oh, by the way, what I said earlier isn't correct. And, and in fact, the New York Times covered this, and I don't think they've reported anything saying, well, now four papers have shown that you know, they can't replicate those results. So I think that's something that we need to be real, real careful of. And I, I suppose I would say that, that influential people, politicians and others, could probably do a little bit better job of being careful. For example, maybe you pick up the phone to a few geneticists before you decide to make a statement like that and say, hey, is this convincing? Is this solid? Because you wouldn't, in that case, have had to ask too many geneticists before you would have got some warning signs. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.